Supper, also pray to the Father on our behalf, praying that we be one, united in all that we believe and hold dear. He also talked with the Apostle Paul that the celebration of the Lord's Supper was a confession of that unity, which is why we practice what we call post communion, and ask that those who have made a public confession of this unity of faith, your membership at Grace Lutheran Church of Wisconsin Evangelical Lutheran Synod, could this time come and receive the Supper of the Lord. Please follow the instruction of your ushers. May this true body and blood of your Savior Jesus strengthen and preserve you in the true faith of the life everlasting. Depart in peace. Your sins are forgiven. Amen.
part of these. Your sins are forgiven. Amen. Again, please rise and turn to page 36, where we join together in thanksgiving.
again, good morning. Uh, there are a few announcements I want to draw to your attention. As I mentioned, today is the last Sunday before the season of Lent. We begin on Wednesday, past Wednesday. We have worship services at 12 and at 7 and the potluck dinner at 5.30. So please put this on your calendar and join us to celebrate this, this wonderful season and remembrance of Christ. Uh, if you look on the bottom of page 6, the Wasaki Mission. This is something we've been talking about for quite a while. Uh, really embracing some outreach opportunities up there with the hopes of, of starting Saturday night worship up there and, and getting a second site to our, to our congregation here. We're having our first meeting next Sunday to discuss what it is we want to do, uh, what it is we're prepared to do. And it's open to anybody. If you live in the Wasaki area, certainly we would, we would uh, embrace your, your, your help here. Um, but anybody's invited to come, and it is at Evergreen Plaza, the community room at 3 p.m. If you have any more questions, uh, please speak with me. And then as I had mentioned in the sermon today, we are taking an advantage to, to fill out a new time and interest form. And let me explain why we're doing this as the ushers begin to hand these out. In any group of people, a congregation, the communication is always, is always difficult. And we have everybody who, who is motivated to help and who wants to help, and we have lots of ways to help. But usually those who get asked to help are the ones who are standing right in front of you at the moment. Um, and and that's, that's a shame. And we have a lot of people who would like to get involved and don't know how. This is one way we're hoping to remedy that, uh, by, by asking you to fill this out. I'm going to be up here if you have any questions regarding this. Uh, hopefully it's not confusing. But if you have something that you're interested in, something that, that you think this is something I would like to do, we want to really make use of these and meet on a monthly basis to see what we're going to do, and then going through the list and, and asking people who haven't had the opportunity to help uh, to be involved. I hope that makes sense. What I'm trying to say is we're trying to give us all the opportunities that we're looking for so that all of us can play a part. Um, and we're not trying to put you on the spot with this, we're just trying to make it easier because I know how easily papers can get lost. Uh, that way we're gonna collect these at the end of the day if you're prepared to do that, if you're prepared to, to be done with it. Uh, we're asking that every adult fill out their own instead of just families as we've done in the past. And God's hopefully, I'm confidently going to bless our So I'll be up here. If anybody has any questions, we're very loose right now, we're very uh, informal, so please feel free to ask. So, and there's a copy of it up here that should match very closely, if not perfectly, with the one you have in your hand. Thank <laughs> you.